Hey everybody, thanks for being here. This week we're on an adventure to Panama for everything from Big Pacific Snook to Yellowfin Tuna. Now if you want to learn how to catch more fish, stay tuned. I'm Justin Wolf, and this is Angler West Television. Snook are common on the Caribbean side of Panama, but we're on the Pacific side looking to hunt down the elusive Pacific Snook. So what we got going on here, we come out to Cueva, which is the biggest island. It's so big it creates its own weather system, so it's like clouds. But the deal here is that there are giant Pacific Snook. And we're going to try to catch a Snook. I've been trying to do it for years, haven't been successful, but maybe this will be the time. So these guys are going to do, while we're waiting for the water to start moving, it's high tide right now, and that water starts moving a little bit, that's the time to go for the snook. So we're going to fish for rooster fish here for a while, and then we're going to move right over here and try to catch one of those big giant Pacific snook, which get up to like 30 pounds or more. So we'll see what happens. Nope, this is the last thing I thought I'd ever catch in Panama was snook. After uh, catching Big Dorado, catching yellowfin tuna, we were throwing on some sailfish. Pretty awesome. It's like Jurassic Park, you just never know what you're going to catch when you're down here in Panama. You need a bigger landing net. <laughs> Oh. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Crocodile. Turn to me. Okay, we got our snook, so we're, we're gonna let it go. All right, now show them how to release the fish properly, head first. Boom. I'm gonna just drop it in and throw it in. Yeah. There we go, and away it goes. Awesome. Nice work. Cool. That's the first snook I filmed in Panama. Gotta love that. There you go, Mike. Makes me nervous. Man. Makes me nervous. Yeah, my light rod. Careful. Yeah, that's why I'm keeping it pointed over. <laughs> Actually, that's a Daiwa or Tito three-piece rod. Uh, Those things great. are strong, but don't don't overdo it. That's one John blew up a couple times. <laughs> yeah, this is that. But we're getting bait. We're getting bonita for bait. Yamamoto. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a hardtail? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, on water. Yeah. These things cut fish. That's it. Yeah, yeah. They're all over the place with these. This is like if you want to buy one thing to try to catch a lot of species with, there that's a good is. one. That's it. That color, just white. Be done with right. it. Right. <laughs> jack. Big jack. Oh. Oh. Nice. Swallowed it. Oh, 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 oh. Pumping them? Yeah, those are great eating. Oh, no. Nick's got something on the Whopper Popper. <laughs> what is it? Huh? What do you got? I don't know. Blew it up. Oh, Mike just lost his needlefish. I brought some big whopper ploppers with me. And Nick saw those in the box and he wanted to try it. So this is what happens. There it 
Yeah, it's him. Big Jack. Hey. Big Jack. Look at that. On a whopper popper. Big tuna on poppers, you gotta love it. Uh, so we were running in, saw a log, yeah, cast on a log, so now we got some Dorado going. Dorado. So that makes a lot of species in one day. Welcome back to Panama. I'm Justin Wolf. We're fishing out of Paradise Lodge, situated in the perfect location to access some of the best inshore and offshore fishing in the world. Here you can target a long list of species, including blue and black marlin. But today, Mark and Mary Coleman are after big yellowfin tuna. Grab the rod all the time. Yesterday, Mark landed a tuna that was close to 200 pounds. Today, Mary is hooked up with a tuna that might not be that big, but there's a good chance it weighs a lot more than she does. Best, crank, crank away. There you go. There you go. Good work, Mary. So, yesterday we got a fish upwards of 200. Kind of started out the same way, fighting the same way. We'll see if it's as big. Probably not. <laughs> I don't think so. I'll just be happy to land it, period. What? <laughs> I said no. I thought you said go. 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 Single speed reel. <laughs> A challenge here. Okay, go. Okay, closer. Okay, you got the rest of the way here. 15 feet. Team 
It's a great fish. It's Coming on. Definitely the biggest tuna of all time. Yep. Slide in your face. So I'm going to try to like not kill anyone here. <laughs> <laughs> So this is by far the biggest yellowfin that I've caught up to date in my life. It was awesome. Welcome back to Paradise Lodge. I'm Justin Wolf. It's been a fantastic day on the water, but now it's time to relax, eat dinner, enjoy the tropical sunset, and get much needed sleep. As tomorrow, we'll bring another day of chasing tuna or whatever species you desire. We're with John Kaiser of Salt Patrol along with his friend Jerry, and today they will target tuna. We have a good supply of poppers, sliders, and swim baits ready, but it's always a good idea to stop for live bait. The bait can be used for tuna, but also inshore species like giant cabara snapper and roosterfish. Because there are islands near the tuna grounds, it is possible to fish for tuna and inshore species all in the same day, or even at the same time. But today, it's tuna right off the bat. Well, we got into some porpoise, just threw a bait, hooked up, so I've been fighting him for about 10 minutes or so. Not a real big one, but he's almost up here. But I'll tell you, if you want to get into some good tuna action, this is the place to go. Color! Nothing like catching them on spinning rods. Right here. All right. Hey, I told you. Huh? Did I tell you? <laughs> Got him on a sand eel. So normally down here when you see them on the surface, either casting poppers or in this case a swim bait. And uh, that seems to work pretty well. I mean, you get them moving around and they'll come up and hit it. And then, uh, you know, just get them on spinning rods. Good time. All right, what you got going, Justin? All right, so. I threw out, call it a slider. Now the thing is down here, or anywhere I suppose, but sometimes I really want poppers, you know, big loud splash on the surface, but there's other times when they won't hit that. So something a lot more subtle. Like John got one earlier on that swim bait, and this is basically like a little rip bait, I'll show you. But so I got some advice ahead of time. I called a friend of mine who has a boat down here and everything and does a lot of fishing, and he told me this particular bait is the one he's been doing really well on. So I threw it out, basically first cast. Color. So you take it on the first cast? Uh, close to it, I don't remember. I think this a little one, so. Kind of a small one, but that's okay. That's fun though. You see him come up and hit. Oh, yeah, nothing like a take on the top of the water. Okay, yeah, let's so see anyway, that swim bait. This is it's a Daiwa slider, a Dorado dart slider, I think they call it. This is a basic, very subtle type of lure, and it is the one. So, good deal. All right, can I have it? I have another one. All right. <laughs> you can have this one. <laughs> How can they not hit that? <laughs> it 
was right in them. I was right there. What can I say? They're not big, but they sure are fun. Oh my god, that's probably 40 at least there. It ain't even slowing down. <laughs> oh. Hope you're enjoying this week's episode from Panama. Now, Panama is one of those places that you have to go to, kind of like Alaska. Now, if you're interested in a trip, pay attention to when we're going and you can join us on a trip to Panama. It's very simple. You fly into Panama City, you spend a night there, maybe two nights, visit the old city, maybe do the canal, you can fish for peacock bass in the canal, and then it's a simple transport to the lodge. It's about a five hour drive. The lodge provides the transportation in a comfortable van or bus, depending how big the group is. And you're there in a beautiful lodge, fishing for three, four, or five days, whatever you like to do. You can also fly from Panama City to David, which is like flying from, say, Portland to Seattle on a smaller jet, easy flight. The lodge will pick you up there, and then it's only about an hour trip from the airport to the lodge. So join us on a trip to Panama sometime, but right now we're going back to the Gulf of Cherokee, see if we can't get some more yellowfin tuna. For numbers of tuna, beta is always a good way to go and double hookups can be common. But casting and retrieving lures is definitely the more fun way to go. First cast. Double. We got a double. There we go. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, did he get off? No, we don't. Oh, oh, yeah, we oh you got him. Oh, there he, is. he came right back. Oh, I think he got off and another one hit it. Oh, you got to love tuna fish. A little better one on this one. <laughs> now you got a little work. <laughs> They're not very big. Well, not compared to the, the bank ones, but still. That was a nice one. So is that that same bait you had before? The one you won't give me? Yeah, no, this is actually a Shimano lure that's the same thing, but it sinks. Oh, okay. I got so much Shimano ones. You know, I do want those, but I push it. Ah, uh, I got it. He's right here. Okay, Gaff. He's just a little baby. I'm just walking back. I'll gaff it if nothing else. He's a little, they're a little busy. It's another one of those stick baits. I want to see that bait. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's one of the Shimano's. I got some of those. Those were good. That's a good bait. Come on, Justin. I got my hand in it. That'll do it. There. All right. What you got going there, buddy? Another little one. I can't believe the amount of these schools of smaller tuna in shore here. Holy yeah, cow. It's like every quarter mile. I mean, you just you sit down and take a break, and there's like another boil going on. Hey, hey. Wow. 
<laughs> like, like right next to the boat. They're everywhere. Coming back, Jerry. Watch out. Got out dude. Oh, I didn't think he was cushion worthy, but now he is. Oh, where's that green cushion? Can I bring my cushion, please? Verde. The from? Verde. Ah, oh, Verde. All right. See with with the cushion here. Makes it a little you more can, bearable. <laughs> well, you can get it now. Now you get the rod at the right now angle. We now we got him going. All right, so now we can just sit here for like two minutes and see another boil. They're right behind the boat. They're boiling right now. <laughs> okay, I told you. Yeah, hey, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. You know, without the support of the sponsors, there would be no show. So please thank them when you can. Now, get out there and do some great fishing.